I'm Tricia, a California organic gardener. Winter's just around the corner, and it's time to take care of the perennial vegetables like artichokes, asparagus, rhubarb, and horseradish. They need to be put down to bed before the harsh winter. Artichokes are hardy down to zone six. However, they do need care in the winter where there's frost. We're gonna cut back last year's stem to about six inches. After cutting off the dead stems, just tie up the rest of the plant in a bunch and then add compost. You want to add a pretty thick layer of compost all around the plant. Then you want to add about 8 inches of straw or leaves over the top of the compost. Next April, you can remove this mulch, take off the string, add a balanced fertilizer, and your artichoke will be ready for the next season. Asparagus just needs a little bit of care in the fall. They're hardy down to zone four. After the frost or when the ferns start turning brown, cut them down to about two inch stubs. Cutting back the ferns really helps prevent some asparagus diseases. Then you just want to add about two to three inches of compost. Compost will help enrich the soil. Then we want to add about a four to six inch layer of mulch. I'm using rice straw. In order to stagger your asparagus harvest in the spring, take the mulch off of half the bed. You'll see the asparagus growing. As soon as you see a little bit of growth in the other half where there is still mulch, then take the mulch off. In the fall, after the first few frosts, it's the perfect time to harvest your horseradish. Gently dig out the plant. Be careful not to leave roots in the ground because they will grow and spread. Container gardening of horseradish is a good idea. Just snip off the green part about an inch from the root. Mm. And then you want to wash them off and put them in the crisper section in a plastic bag in your refrigerator. Jerusalem artichokes are actually in the sunflower family. They're not really artichokes at all. They're a tuberous plant that you should dig up after the first few frosts in the winter. You can cook them like potatoes, or you can serve them in salads like water chestnuts. You can harvest them as you need them, but it is a good idea to harvest them all before next spring, or they can become invasive. Rhubarb is hardy down to USDA Zone 3, and it requires very little care in the fall. Just give it a good application of compost. Thanks to Linny, our nursery manager, for letting us put her perennial vegetable garden to bed, and for giving me these dried artichoke flowers for an arrangement. And I'm going to go make some horseradish sauce and grow organic for life.